Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather, this is Honest Homemaking. Happy Monday! So we have made it to day 8, I guess today's... Well, okay, so I did keep the kitchen clean. Uh, well, I kept everything we cleaned pretty clean, which feels really nice. We had a good weekend with the kids. Um, things always get a little crazy with the kids, but luckily Chris helped me pick up last night because he's amazing. I love him so much and I don't know what I would do without him. Because today I wanted to do something other than just clean. I wanted to, um, oh, I'm back in my Golden Girls today too. Um, I wanted to do something other than just clean. We have not, he hears his mommy. He does that every time he hears his mommy. We've not had our pictures on the living room walls um, since I painted, which they're here under this stuff. Let's see here. So, there's still, what I did was I bought these cheap frames for one dollar. Crap. So all of these frames came from the dollar store, the Dollar Tree. I paid one dollar for each of these frames and some of them were black, like this one was a black one, and some of them, some of them were brown. I don't know. Anyway, but I painted them. This is the same cream color that the wall used to be. So, I'm going to take some of my gray paint. For those of you wondering, the color um, on the wall is just this. I think this is Walmart brand. It's a pre-mix. It's called Platinum Ring. Anyway, and I'm going to paint my frames to match the new wall. And then they'll go up on the white part of the wood wall. Well, hold on. First, Mommy's going to take the pictures out. Because we don't want to paint little bro. So the only thing with these cheap frames is you have to be careful because they do break easily. I'm going to go ahead and take all of the uh, pictures out of the frames. And then I have my little helper here. Leo, are you going to help Mommy? There's one. I don't have any paint out yet because he gets a little overzealous. I don't really need new friends, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play though. Wanna hang with me? I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of. are the best painter. You're so good at painting. You're mommy's best painter helper. Wait, I need to paint in here. Well, we need to paint in here. We need to paint a deal. We need to paint the ceiling? Yeah. Well, we're not gonna paint the ceiling today, okay? Today we're just gonna paint the picture frames. Why? Because it's just a little project. Painting the ceiling is a big project.
but I will get you some whipped cream. So there's our painted picture frames. I'm going to let them dry, and we will come back. Charge my camera some more and get this boy some whipped cream. <laughs> You're very cute. a new frame. I just broke Leo. <sighs> when we painted, we left up the 3M strips because I figured I'm lazy. That's that's why. Because I'm lazy. And they got paint in them. And you know what 3M strips are? They're Velcro. And you know what doesn't work if it gets paint on it? Velcro. So I'm gonna have to go to the store and get some more. All right, excuse the hair. I got frustrated and hot. So Chris came through to the rescue, as he often does. He brought me some new 3M strips to replace the painted ones. And he brought me a glass to replace the one I busted. The only way he could do that was to buy a frame. Well, I actually like this frame, so I told him that I hated to just take the glass out of it, but he said he would order a glass to go in that, stepping on, from Amazon. So, I get to replace the picture frame for Leo, right, or the glass for Leo's frame right now. And then he's going to order me, why do I try to do this stuff one-handed? He's going to order me, uh, replacement 
for this one so I can put that somewhere in the house because I actually thought that was super cute. It says memories and it's got three slots for your pictures with your family. <gasps> Hi Mason. So we're going to try this again. While I was frustrated, I went ahead and peeled off all of the old 3M strips. So now I'm going to put up these new fresh ones without paint. And then we're going to try this again. DIYs don't always work out like you plan them. You just have to keep trying. That was scary. For like half a minute, half a minute, I really thought he broke it. Um, you missed the part where I was like wiping the camera, trying to get it back in focus. He won't let go of my tripod. <laughs> you guys, listen. The struggle is real with kids and trying to get things done. Now he is so mad because I won't let him knock over my tripod, which is now off balance. One more to go and we can start sticking our pictures back up. We are very close to successfully completing this project. No, 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 no! Your mommy's little helper. <gasps> no, 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 don't judge it. All right. We have all of our stickies back up. Uh, I will say that he is finally, oh, this is so distracting, you guys, hold on. I will say that he is finally feeling better. Can you tell? Say, I'm so cute. Even if I'm not a very good helper. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> I literally cannot make this stuff up. Do you see what has happened? I forgot to peel back one of the little tabs on the back and literally just, just broke this glass. Well, for now, I just stuck it up there. I don't want to break the news to Chris that I just the glass that he gave me or brought me so we're gonna wait and see if he notices maybe he won't there's just no glass in there right now um so the next thing that i have is our r that we stick in the middle and i'm gonna put it back up right now even though it's red but i'm gonna ask you guys i am going to paint this too so i want your opinion what color do you think that I should paint this R? Something that will go well in the living room. Um, I'm really loving blue right now, so I would probably choose the shade of blue. But if you have a different suggestion, let me know. I should replace the batteries. Um, but 
Oh, I guess it still works. So it goes right here. So there you have it. This is what I did today to make our house a little more homey. Um, no, let me turn this AC off. There it is. Um, obviously, the picture without the glass is much shinier. But this is what I did today to make our house a little more homey. I painted our picture frames and hung them back up on the wall. So, there it is. <laughs> we'll see how long. In tomorrow's video, I will let you know how long it takes um, for Chris to notice there's a frame in that. Because I can't, I can't believe that I did that. I just, I forgot to peel up one of the tabs and just went to pop it up out of there and smash. So I'm going to clean up my little bit of a mess that I have here. We have had some cheese. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I have no idea what we're doing. I'll think about it this evening. And we will see. But um, maybe the boys' rooms. Hmm. We'll see. Alright. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe. My name is Heather. Um, I am doing my very best to show the real life reality of trying to keep a home when you have five children in a small space. Uh, if you're new here, then you don't know that we live in a three bedroom, one bathroom, thousand square foot home. It's 1500 square feet if you want to be technical, but 500 of that is in the basement and is not used. It is on my list to clean out one of these days. So subscribe and you'll be one of the first people to see it, hopefully. All right. I'm just going to go tell him that I broke the glass in this thing that he brought me when he was attempting to be my savior. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.